So, this is uh, one of my uh, newest additions to the shack. You see we're on the Martin Lynch and Sons uh, webpage here. This is where I got the item from. And it's a Kiwi SDR. Um, it's an SDR radio, HF, uh, 10 kilohertz you can see there, 230 megs. And it's accessible over the internet on any device basically that um, that will run a web browser. And um, Martin and Lynch at the moment is selling a kit which includes a power supply, the uh, the case for the Kiwi, uh, the little single board computer that it runs on which is called a BeagleBone Green, and um, a GPS antenna because uh, if you look at the uh, the picture here you'll see there are two SMA antenna ports, one's for the HF antenna for the SDR receiver as you'd imagine, the other's for a GPS antenna. And uh, so there's a picture there of the uh, the Kiwi board because it comes with an SD card which has got the software on but the, the Kiwi has the software ready installed so uh, you don't actually need the SD card when you set it up and uh, a quick view of the, the box that it all came in. Comes with a nice aluminium enclosure, very sturdy, very well made, and it's got a cooling fan as part of the um, part of the kit, and uh, a power supply as well. So that's uh, basically the the Kiwi SDR kit. So what you need to do, you've got your Kiwi SDR, and then you plug it into one of these, which comes as part of the kit, which is a Beagle Bone Green. It's kind of a similar format to a Raspberry Pi, but you'll see it has um, anyone familiar with the Pi will see that the um, the ports here, the I/O ports, uh, are, are different. The layout's slightly different, but it's roughly the same size as uh, something like a Raspberry Pi three, and uh, that sits at the bottom, and the Kiwi SDR board plugs into that. So um, I'll just show you. I put up a picture now of my assembled uh, Kiwi SDR, which is. Uh, up and running and uh, now we'll uh, go on and have a look at the um, the user interface and how it's going to look if you connect to it via the internet. So that's a little bit of DRM uh, from uh, Radio France. Um, let's just uh, turn the volume up a little bit. Little bit, uh, little bit patchy there, but uh, we've got a decode on it. Um, not, uh, not every SDR receiver can uh, can de decode this, but um, the Kiwi does quite well with it. But um, signal to noise ratio is a little bit low for that tonight. So uh, why don't we move down to uh, an ammeter band? Let's try uh, 80 meters. You can see we can navigate in in various ways with the uh, the Kiwi SDR. I'll just switch to lower sideband and if I click on this drop down I've got various bands listed here this this comes as part of the uh, the setup out of the box so to speak we'll take 80 meters and straight away we can see there are some signals and uh, I'll just knock the volume up a little So there we have got a station there. We've also got the uh, opportunity to have a little spectrum display at the top of the screen. So I'll turn that on, which uh, some people find easier uh, to help you tune rather than the waterfall. We can have that. Uh, we can um, type a frequency directly into this frequency readout uh, box here. So if we wanted to go now to 40 meters, we could just put in... Uh, uh, let's say 7200.0 and hit that and that will take us to 40 meters and we can see we're in the band. By clicking on these two horizontal arrows it um, just centers the 40 meter armature band on the uh, on the display. Actually uh, runs up into the um, 7.3 which would be the top end of the, the American uh, uh, band as well. Let's see if we can select uh, a signal. Interference there.
quite a busy band on uh, 40 meters there tonight um, if we zoom the display out totally as uh, these arrows here we can now see the whole of the spectrum that the Kiwi covers from 0 to 30 and what can be heard at this location at this time so it's um, 1915 UTC or um, a quarter past 8 p.m. local time and uh, we've got quite a bit of activity as you can see if you look at the the top uh, the spectrum display medium wave long wave then running up the lower band sort of 80 meters 4 megs 5 megs 49 meters 6 megs we've got the uh, 40 meter armature band 41 meter broadcast band quite some strong signals there and then running it running up to around 9 megs a 31 meter band we've got strong signals there we've got something up around uh, where are we there um, probably around 13 megs something like that um, we can click here and it will take us to that part of the spectrum you can see we can zoom right in we need to give the display just a second or two to settle as you can see and that's already showing us there's a very strong signal on 13 670 it's an am signal so i'll switch to am turn the volume up quickly I'll just turn on properly. We can zoom out and see the rest of the band. Or we can use the two horizontal arrows there. Let's give us a better view of the band and just turn the volume down. So you can see there are a few other signals. These, these bars are probably a bit of interference really. We can also navigate up and down the band in 5k steps, 1k or 100 hertz by using these plus or minus uh, buttons here. See if I click that a couple of times, I'm moving up in 5 kilohertz steps. Similarly, I can move down. As I've shown you, we can just navigate on the uh, the drop down here to uh, whatever band we wish to um, to listen to. So, for example, that's a signal on long wave. You can see quite a lot of interference I'm using an MLA 30 Chinese loop works fairly well over the HF spectrum but it's pretty poor on long and medium wave but it will pick up as you might imagine in the UK uh, BBC Radio 4 which is a strong signal he died and there it is and then uh, we can see various signals on the um, medium wave band you can just click on those having too many touches we can Instead zoom right into that uh, signal there the only thing is is that you've seen it's it the volume good. down again and we can just gradually also zoom out so we can see more and more of the band so we've got the bulk of the medium wave band there in sight and from one more we're looking at 500 kilohertz one end up to uh, almost 1400 megahertz there i can also just click on the waterfall and drag the whole thing across and move up and down frequencies quite quickly that way you can see we're up to um two megs three megs we're now sort of 80 meters armature band and 75 meters broadcast band so there's many ways you can navigate on the kiwi as well it's really uh, really good from that point of view we've got all the modes we need we've got am synchronous am digital radio mondial which we had a little look at uh, at the start upper and lower sideband cw narrow band fm for 10 meters off a of cb um, like most sdrs you've got multiple bandwidth if we zoom into this am signal give the display a second or so to settle we'll go into uh, am mode there and we can actually drag the bandwidth in or expand the bandwidth out we've got am narrow and am, wi uh, AM wide anyway so that's the am wide setting we click once click again we get a slightly narrower that's the wide that's the narrow but we can narrow the bandwidth down as far as we want using the mouse and the cursor so that's a very quick look at the uh, the Kiwi SDR um, 
just quickly on this control panel we've got a few tabs we can adjust the waterfall settings here so um, by moving this we will not only affect the spectrum at the top but also the uh, coloring of the uh, the waterfall display so we can get rid of some of this kind of background stuff and just concentrate on the signals if we want we can have the waterfall at a faster or slower rate on the audio tab we've got volume control we've got noise blankers and uh, dsp filters as well as well as a squelch control we can uh, play around with the agc settings here as well on this tab and uh, we can see how, how how or if there are any other users connected to the uh, the kiwi that we're using now uh, these tabs are all accessible by whoever's using the receiver then just not just for the admin they're for anyone that wants to use the receiver and um, as i show you later on there are four independent receivers with this kiwi sdr so um we'll have a little look now at the uh, the admin side the uh, the page that's uh, used to set up the receiver at the uh, the hardware end we've seen the uh, the actual user interface for the kiwi sdr this is the admin interface now we're looking at which uh, the owner or the installer the host of the uh, receiver will have uh, access to and um, the status page just shows us um, what the receiver is up to see this one's been turned on um, since the last reboot 7 hours 15 minutes um, the GPS is working and we've got uh, seven satellites that we're tracking at the moment we can see the uh, beagle bone uh, single board computers running at 93 percent so some other information there uh, this tells us how the kiwi is set up um, my current setup allows four independent receivers rx0 to rx3 we could have more receivers but they'll have uh, somewhat limited functions or six of them well if we go for the eight we'll only have full function on uh, two of the receivers and if we want a, a, a larger bandwidth on our receiver then um, we sacrifice uh, one of the four receivers and we'd be down to three so mine's set at the uh, classic uh, setting of four receivers at the moment got some basic controls here we can restart the kiwi um, server we can reboot the the beagle uh, computer or we can actually power it off we can set the system to restart um, at uh, any point in the day we can enable external connections and we can kick uh, users off and there's some other settings here to do with the waterfall and so on this is uh, where we do the port forwarding so that the the kiwi is open to um, uh, to the internet so people can connect to it indeed and including myself from outside of the local network got another configuration screen here which uh, tells us where the uh, the receiver defaults to when it's switched on and uh, some of the waterfall settings and some of the passband settings got a mode setting here and so on again some more information that is uh, displayed at uh, rx.kiwisdr.com where this receiver is listed where you can link to it and uh, some more information again that's uh, online about the uh, receiver the dx tab here is obviously a work in progress i don't know what this intended for but there's nothing there at the moment we've got a means of updating the software here there are regular updates we can set it to automatically check to uh, and to install any updates we can back up the settings of the receiver onto an sd card here's our network settings the open ports that we need and uh, the uh, the internet uh, the ethernet rather speed that the kiwi is connected to i find this quite interesting these are the gps satellites um, the kiwi comes with um, an onboard uh, gps receiver and a little patch a GPS antenna is um, provided with the kit I've set that up just outside the shack here and uh, it's picking up it's tracking nine satellites at the moment and five of them are good signals um, Kiwi uses these uh, to um, 
calibrate the receiver it uses them to um to set the time and i believe they can also be using some function of um, direction finding in conjunction with other receivers at uh, different locations i've yet to look into that but i think the um the gps is essential to that so i'm pleased to see i'm getting some uh, some results on the gps side we've got a log here of uh what the receiver's been doing when it's been connected to when it's been switched on and off and so on it's all dumped as a as a text file here and um, here we can enter uh, commands directly to the BeagleBone uh, computer if we need to this extensions tab now this is connected with uh, some of the additions uh, to the Kiwi that are built in such as a WSPR a whisper decoder there's an SSTV uh, uh, decoder we can decode nav text fax digital radio mondial uh, which uh, you've already seen a quick demo of a little bit earlier and uh, CW amongst uh, some other modes we can decode but we can set those up we can enable them or disable those modes here and then uh, we've got a security tab there's various security settings we can change uh, on the uh, the Kiwi SDR but um, although we've got a number of tabs here all in all it, it's fairly simple to set up and uh, open it up to the um, the wider internet and it's very easy to set it up just for your own uh, uh, local network but I thought you might be interested in the uh, the interface in the uh, the interface page